Welcome back, everyone. There are hopes to make Fargo Moorhead a better community for kayaking, canoeing, and paddle boarding. The first step is this new kayak launch at Lindenwood Park near the campground. The idea is that you won't have to get your feet muddy and it's easy access for everyone. It's also handicapped accessible. The launch is open for the holiday weekend and there are plans to make another farther down the river. The park district is planning to start renting kayaks and canoes soon. Have you found a key in your mailbox or your front step or in your yard? Fargo police say they have been contacted by a lot of people who have. Police say that Corwin sent out a promotional mailer that had a key attached to it. They believe the keys are falling off during delivery. The department asks for you to continue to stay alert of any suspicious activity and be sure to report it. Downtown Grand Forks will be buzzing next weekend at the city's first annual street fair. So that also means driving around might get a little tricky. Drivers going north and south on 3rd and 4th streets in downtown Grand Forks will need to choose an alternate route starting next Thursday. Demers Avenue, North and South 5th Street and Kitson Avenue will all remain open. The corporate central and county parking ramps will all remain open throughout the event. In tonight's Healthier Me, mixing prescription opioid painkillers with a class of drugs that includes popular sedatives such as Valium and Xanax can cause a fatal overdose. Today, the U.S. Food and Drug Administration said it will require boxed warnings on 389 different products to inform health professionals and the public of this potentially lethal drug interaction. Benzodiazepines, which include Valium and Xanax, affect the central nervous system and are used to treat conditions like anxiety, insomnia, and seizures. An experimental drug for Alzheimer's disease is showing early promise. Drug maker Biogen developed the drug called aducan aducanabab and funded this latest research. The drug was found to significantly reduce plaques in the brain, which experts believe play a critical role in the development of Alzheimer's. Experts are cautious, saying the study was too small to prove any real clinical benefit. Previous drugs have been encouraging in early trials and then later failed. Still, this research is promising. Coming up tonight at 6 o'clock, a new website lets you memorialize those who have died from drug overdoses. Find out what one woman is doing to keep her loved ones close. But first, why it might be taking too long for you to get your Galaxy Note 7. Stay tuned.